Are you still struggling to hear even with the use of hearing aids? Today, I will tell you why rear ear measurement is important. Hello everyone, my name is Elia Ching, Chief Audiologist and Founder of Sound Life Hearing. Most of the time, we know that if there is a hearing problem, we must go for a hearing test. If a hearing loss is diagnosed, we need to be prescribed with hearing aids. But is the whole process just that simple? How do we know if the hearing aids are really helping us? Is the adjustment of the hearing aids good enough? Usually, after the hearing aid fitting process, audiologists will depend on customer's feedback to do the hearing aid adjustment. This is what we call subjective verification of the hearing aid fine tuning adjustment. However, this process is not good enough simply because the customer does not know how good is good. This is why we should perform rear ear measurement. To make it simple, we will put a small tube into the customer ears and then put on the hearing aids. Then we will measure the sound pressure level of the hearing output at each frequency to see if it's loud enough or too loud. Through the rear ear measurement, which we often call it RAM, we can assess and determine whether the hearing amplification has reached its optimum prescription. It's also a gold standard for audiologists to verify the amplification of hearing aids, according to the best practice guidelines stated by the American Academy of Audiology. Prescribed gain or output from a validated prescriptive method should be verified using a prop microphone approach that is referenced to ear canal SPL. Because everyone's hearing loss is different, even if one person has the same level of hearing loss as yours, the structure of your ears and the size of the ear canal are all different. Especially children's ear canal are not fully developed, which is very different from adult ear canals. These differences may seem insignificant, but small differences will have a certain impact. So, in order to achieve a more accurate fitting, a rear ear measurement should be done. This allows the audiologist to make appropriate adjustments and allows customers to obtain the best hearing improvement possible from their hearing aids. But, how do I know if my audiologist has done a rear ear measurement? What kind of process is that? Firstly, we will perform an otoscopy examination to check the condition of your ear canal. Then, we will put a device like this on the customer ear. This tube, called the probe microphone, will be placed into the customer ear canal. At the same time, the hearing aid will also be placed on the ear. After that, the audiologist will play some speech samples through the speaker the hearing aid will amplify those sounds and it will be picked up by the probe microphones in the ear canal. A graph will then be generated on the computer software. From the graph, the audiologist will make adjustments on the hearing aid software. This is roughly how rear ear measurement looks like. This is one of the examples of rear ear measurement done on our customers. The graph on the left shows that measurement before adjustment and the one on the right shows that measurement after the adjustment. The grey line represents the prescriptive target, whereas the red line represents the hearing amplification that was being measured by the probe microphone in the ear canal. For this rear ear measurement process, the red line will have to reach the grey line to be considered a good setting. As you can see, the low frequency and high frequency will under amplify before the adjustment, which means the sound at those pitch wasn't loud enough for the customer. After some adjustment, the low and high frequency have improved and has reached the prescriptive target better than before. Of course, if you have not done the rear ear measurement and only rely on the initial prescription provided by the hearing aid software, you will still receive some amount of benefit from your hearing aids. But if your hearing aids may be adjusted better, then why should you miss this opportunity? If you or you have a hearing aid user around complaining the hearing aid doesn't sound clear enough to understand the speech in general, perhaps you have not done the RAM test yet. Please contact us for more information and make an appointment with us today. Hope you find this video helpful. Remember to like, share and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.